Okay, this is uh, chapter 6, electronic configuration, homework number 6. Let's take a look at the question. Draw an orbital diagram for the fluorine atom. So the key word here is fluorine atom, which means it should be just F. That's just a, it's a, just the atom. No chart, it's not fluoride. All right? So it's this one and not that one. If it's just the neutral atom, we just need to find out the atomic number of fluorine which equals the number of protons, then we would know the number of electrons. All right, so we'll need the number of electrons in order to, you know, draw an orbital diagram or to write down the electronic configuration. That's basically the same thing. We need to know the total number of electrons. Okay, very easy. Every time we'll take pies, so a copy of your audio table will be given and here fluorine, that's number nine, which means it has nine electrons, okay? So uh, the atomic number is nine, uh, the number of protons is nine, the number of electrons for fluorine atom, now the fluoride is also nine. Okay, we have nine electrons. That's good to know. So next, what we need to do is just to uh, follow the alpha principle. Remember, you always start with the lowest energy state, which is, you always start with one ice, okay? So you will have one ice, and then two ice, then two P, three ice, and then three P, okay? So that's the way to go, okay? Um, there are a total of nine electrons, so we just need uh, five orbitals, all right? So, okay, we just need five orbitals. Okay, we already have this orbital diagram right here. We just need to, okay, total of nine electrons, put that in there. And then for one ice orbital, will have two paired electrons. Then the next one is two eyes. We should have another two. All right, so this is the two eyes. Okay, now for the two P, you see that's already two electrons. That's another two. That's a total of four already. Nine minus four equals five electrons. So five electrons, we will try to place them into three of the two P orbitals, all right? So let me draw the three two P orbitals, okay? So that's two P. Okay, uh, so we still have five remaining electrons to be assigned according to the Hans rule. Hans rule, we need to place a single electron into each orbital with the same spin. So now we have a four, two, four, five, six, seven, all right? And we have a total of nine. The eighth one comes to here. Again, this is just Hans rule. Okay, pairing them. If you have two electrons, they have to have one opposite spin, just like here or anywhere, all right? So now double check the number of electrons. Two plus two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bingo, we are done. So this is the orbital diagram of fluorine atom, okay? Now fluoride, actually if it were fluoride, it would have a 
One more electron, that makes 10 electrons, then the 10th one fluoride will be right here. And then you see this 2p will be become fully filled. So therefore, it will be more stable. As a matter of fact, fluoride, F minus, is much more stable than fluorine. So, yeah, that's something, of course, is not involved in this question, but I just would like to point that out so that you know. Okay, that's uh, question number six.